Today we are examining a Chinese ink painting on silk entitled Hundreds of Birds Admiring the Peacocks, painted by Yin Hong during the Ming Dynasty. Something that really draws my eye into the painting is the way the birds form a circular motion, creating movement for the viewers. Viewers start looking from bird to bird and then are led to the peacocks near the bottom of the piece. Originally, the background would have been white, making the values much more vibrant than what we see today. Something I love is the great line quality, creating a lot of texture, even though this is a very flat screen painting. It also has a lot of overlapping forms and shapes that create even more sense of depth. We believe that originally this piece was a set of four. Each different panel most likely represented a different season. These four pieces were hung in either a palace or high-ranking official's home in the Ming period of China for decoration. Um. In this painting, there are many numerous symbols, but the most important and significant is the centerpiece of the painting, the peacocks. Peacocks carry many heavy symbolic meanings, but the first and what might be the most significant is that they symbolize royalty as they are the king of mortal birds, the earthly incarnations of the feng shui, the Chinese phoenix. We can see that this piece is one of the defining pieces of that symbolism, as not only does the title say that the other birds are paying homage to the peacocks, but that the peacocks are the largest of the birds here and are centered in the painting, making them the most powerful of all the imagery. They symbolize the power and grace of the emperor and the empress. However, they do also represent protection and awareness as the eyes on the tails watch over entrances and exits, and their artwork is commonly placed near doors and windows. The eyes can also represent good luck and fame, along with what could be considered classic symbolism of peacocks, such as beauty, love, and attraction. This painting is immersed in symbols of power. The colors used only would have been available to the nobility of the Ming Dynasty. Even the subject matter suggests power and the divine rights to rule. Historically, art has often been used to indicate wealth and power. In the Ming Dynasty, only the rich and powerful would have been able to afford a commission such as this. During the early Ming period, large decorative paintings were popular among court and wealthy families. Court paintings were also popular during the Ming era. The subjects featured focused more on depicting subjects like mountains, water, birds, and flowers, just like this painting. And overall, the first half of the Ming Dynasty takes on special significance as the final example of a unified and a hegemonic dynastic style, while its decentralized second half is already much closer to modern cultural developments.